Meet BBRR's great horned owl. This species is often called the tiger of the air because of their coloring and their fierceness. They are one of the top predators in their environment. They are called great horned owls because of the feathers on the top of their heads, which resemble horns. These feathers are just feathers, which help these birds blend in with the tree branches. Our great horned owl is with us because of a permanent wing injury. Because of this injury, she cannot fly well enough to survive in the wild. Great horned owls are one of the most common species of owls in New York, as well as all of North America. They can be found in open woods and even city parks. They are one of the earliest nesting birds in our area, often on eggs by January. They are a very hardy species. Nests are borrowed from nature and are sometimes hollows in trees, nests of other birds like crows, hawks, and herons, or even ledges on city buildings. Great horned owls are nocturnal and have some adaptations for being hunters of the night. One of the most noticeable features of owls is their large eyes. These eyes help them gather the smallest amount of light to see in the dark. They can also see great distances like other raptors. Their eyes are so big in their head that there is no room for muscles to move their eyes. So they must turn their heads to locate objects and listen to sounds. They have the ability to turn their heads 270 degrees due to having extra vertebrae in their necks. Sight is not her only superpower. She also has amazing hearing. An owl's ears are not visible on the outside of their head. They are underneath the feathers and behind the circles that surround their eyes. This circle of feathers is called a facial disc. Facial discs enhance sounds and focus them directly to the ear canals, much the way a satellite dish works. Owls, like the great horned, rely on their hearing just as much, if not more, than their vision to locate prey. Great horned owls are diverse hunters, but a main staple of their diet is rodents. They are like flying mousetraps and help keep rodent populations in check. They are very strong and can take prey the size of rabbits and even skunks. They do not have a sense of smell, so the odor from a skunk spray does not bother them. Looking at this beautiful owl, she has a very soft appearance. The soft edges on their flight feathers allow them to fly silently, which is an advantage when hunting at night and trying to sneak up on prey that also have very good hearing. As mentioned before, these owls are one of our most common species, but they are not as easy to find because of their incredible camouflage and inactivity during the day. But if you give a listen at night, you might hear them hooting, especially if there are wooded areas nearby. An owl encounter, whether by sight or sound, is always very exciting. If you have enjoyed meeting this incredible bird, and would like to support its care and the programs of BBRR, please consider becoming a member or making a donation through our website at bbrr.org.